returned to the United States, they gave him a ticker tape parade in New York City and had him address a joint meeting of the U.S. Senate and the U.S. Congress. And he closed his speech after talking about how he had returned back to the Philistines after the Japanese had run them away. He made this statement, I shall return. And he stands before the joint chiefs he stands before the senate and the congress and he makes this statement speaking of himself and the spirit of a warrior he says old soldiers they never die they just fade away he's really dealing not so much with the physical man but he's talking about the spirit of the warrior. Help me say the spirit of the warrior. I thought about that when I seen the life of Elder Stokes and how God smiled upon him with long life. It really applies to him in my mind because he was a soldier. And he gave his life to his country and served during the Korean War. He was not only satisfied with being just a foot soldier. And thought I heard the, the, the uh, nephew talk about him being sort of adventurous. Well, he was a man that meant what he said. And he said what he meant. He was not just an ordinary soldier. Let me tell you why. Because he joined the paratroopers. To join the paratroopers was a little extra pay, but it brought about a little extra danger. And being dropped behind enemy, enemy lines to, to fight for the freedom and democracy that he believed in. Let's take a look at our text just for a moment. It comes from Jude who was concerned about the apostasy of the church that existed in Jude's time. He, he sensed a condition of backsliding. He, he sensed a condition of apostasy. There were two things that were going on at the church that you talks about. First one was Cainism. Cainism, the worshiping God at your own convenience. Otherwise, Cain was a man that wanted to worship God the way he wanted to worship God. He, he wanted to serve God at his convenience. But God needed a blood sacrifice. 